In my recent M4 Mac Mini setup video, I said that I would be buying the Satechi M4 Mac Mini Hub so I could test it out and share with you whether or not this is worth it. So that's exactly what I've done and I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I want to share with you whether or not this is going to add enough value for you to purchase something like this for your own M4 Mac Mini. First of all, I wanna start with the design and right from taking it out of the box, you could tell that this is a well-made product. Everything has a nice finish to it, so no complaints in terms of build quality. At the front here, you have three USB-A ports, so if you're someone with USB-A devices, this is gonna be great for you. You don't have to use dongles like this that are going to convert from USB-A to USB-C. Up top here, you have these four pads. These are just so that when the M4 Mac Mini sits on here, it has a soft place to contact and they, these two don't scratch each other. At the back, you've got an opening for the power button. Now, <laughs> the power button was something everybody went crazy about because it was at the bottom of the M4 Mac Mini. I have used it once, which was when I did a software update. So nonetheless, they thought this through and this gives you a nice access point for the power button. Down here is your cable and it's like tucked away in this slot, but you just simply take this out and plug it into the back of your M4 Mac Mini and you've got all these connections available. At the bottom, you've got these slots so that heat can escape from the SSD area. This cover is where the SSD stays. So. That same one that I showed that I put in my Zyke enclosure, this is that same drive. I installed it into here so I could test out the speeds, etc., of this hub itself. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the value that you get out of this, both in terms of its price and just the overall connectivity. This comes in at 100 US dollars, and that's what I paid because I live here in the U United States. And so if you look at the functionality this is going to give you, it's really amazing because you get three USB-A ports, so you won't be needing any of these dongles, right? So if, you, if you're someone that is going to have to buy these, then you should look at something like this because instead of spending money on these, then you can just buy a one-time solution that'll give you multiple USB-A ports. Now, something I was really looking forward to was the SD card slot because currently before, getting this, I was using the SD card reader for my M4 Mac Mini. So this is USB-C to the SD card reader. Lastly is the SSD slot. And, you know, to have all of this encased into this and then connected via one cable to your M4 Mac Mini, it's really helpful. So again, with the SSD, I had it in this enclosure, connected via Thunderbolt 4 to the back of the M4 Mac Mini. Now the SSD I have is made for gaming and high speeds, right? So this was really helpful to me. Whereas over here, the only limitation you have with the SSD is the fact that it's limited to 10 gigabits per second. So if you're someone that's going to want to maximize the amount of speed that you can get from your SSD, then this is probably the only drawback that I have with this hub in particular, because when I was doing my video edits, I could tell that they began to slow down simply because it it's not able to handle the amount of speed that this enclosure is. But overall, if you're someone that is not concerned about that and you just maybe want to install an SSD here for extra storage, you like having an SD card slot and you've got multiple USB-A devices that you don't want to buy dongles for because if you look at all these things, right? If you have to buy all this stuff separately, enclosure for an SSD, SD card reader, multiple USB-A to USB-C readers, then this one product is giving you a lot of value for your money. $100 and it's nice and neat, which is again, another thing that I, I find really valuable because your M4 Mac Mini, when it sits on here, it looks really pretty. They, it looks like a M4 Mac Mini Plus, you know? So, or almost like a Mac Studio. It's got that taller height. But this is by far probably going to be the most aesthetic pleasing hub that you can buy for your M4 Mac Mini. 
a lot of docs and stuff, they can look clunky or, you know, they have to sit on a separate part on your desk. And that's, again, something that really intrigued me towards this is just the overall look and functionality. So if you're looking to minimize all these external devices that you're going to have to buy and you just want one solution, this is the perfect solution. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you were looking at this hub, hopefully this helps you in making the right decision, whether or not you should be buying one of these. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed, please just give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And like always, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video.